In this video, we're going to talk about something called the geometric series test. We can abbreviate this uh, using three letters, GST. So GST. G-S-T. This is a really powerful and easy to use test. So first of all, what's a geometric series? So if you have a series that looks like this, say we start at zero and we go to infinity and we have a number a times r to the n here a is not zero this is called a geometric series so this thing is a geometric series it doesn't matter where you start by the way you can start at one you can start at two you can start at negative five um, it does not matter uh, what the starting point is. So there is the test. The test says the following. So one, if the absolute value of R is less than one, then the series will converge. So it converges. Two, if the absolute value of R is greater than or equal to 1, then the series diverges. So if R is less than 1 in absolute value, it converges. If it's greater than or equal to 1, it diverges. Now, in the case that it does converge, there is a formula that gives you the actual sum, which is really rare when it comes to infinite series. Most of the time when we study infinite series, we can't even begin to like compute the sum. So we are very fortunate and lucky there actually is an actual formula. It's very rare. So if it does converge, so if it does converge, then the sum is equal to the following. So we have the sum of a times r to the n, and this would be equal to a over 1 minus r. Now there is a trick. There is a trick that you can use to memorize this formula and it's not typically found in textbooks. Let me show you. Let me use a different color here. So if it does converge what you do is you basically take this number and you plug it in. You see, let me do it down here. You would get a r to the 0 and on the bottom you always just put 1 minus r. Boom. And look at that, r to the 0 is 1, so you get a over 1 minus r. So let's, let's actually do an example right away so you see. Let's do an example uh, where it's, let's say it's 0, and e n equals 0, to infinity, uh, 2 times 1 third to the n. Okay, in this case, you can see that r is equal to 1 over 3. And the absolute value of r is less than 1. So this converges by the GST. So if someone were to ask you if this converges or diverges, this would be an acceptable answer, right? You would have to you know, justify uh, why it converges. Not just say converges, but you know, explain the condition state the answer and give the reason. It's almost like a little math proof. It's really, really beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the sum. So ignoring the formula you see here, up here, if you just ignore this one for a moment, what you can always do is you just take this number here and you put it where the n is and it goes up top, okay, always. So 2, 1 third to the 0 and on the bottom you just have 1 minus 1 third, so 1 minus r. It's always 1 minus r on the bottom. And then you just take this number and you put it here, and it goes up top. One third to the zero is two, and then one minus one third is three thirds minus one third, so it's two thirds. So that's three halves times two, right? Because we're multiplying by the reciprocal, so it's equal to three. So that's it. Let's do another one. Let's say we had um, something similar. Say we had n equals two to infinity, and then we have um, three and then we have one half to the n. So same thing here. If you were doing this problem, you would say, oh yeah, r is one half, it's less than one, it converges by the geometric series test. 
So you just write down R. You mentioned that it's less than 1 in absolute value. Then you just say it converges by the GST. It's really nice to have abbreviations instead of having to spell geometric series test every time. So if someone were to ask you, hey, does this converge or diverge? This would be an acceptable answer. So notice the formula only has a zero. Ah, but we can, we're better than that. <laughs> Just take this number and plug it in. It always works and it goes up top. So it's three times one half squared. Really powerful formula. And on the bottom it's one minus r, so one minus one half. Again, you just take this and you just put it there. So 3 times 1 half squared is 3 fourths. Down the bottom we have 1 minus 1 half, which is just 1 half. Oh, yuck. So fractions over fractions. <laughs> Game over. No. Uh, so 3 fourths divided by 1 halves is really 3 fourths times the reciprocal of 1 halves. So it's 2 over 1 times 3 fourths. So this is going to be 6 fourths. This will be three halves and that would be the sum. So you notice that this formula is kind of weak because this formula only you know allows you to work with zero but this this trick where you just plug it in and it goes up top and you divide by one minus r always works always works. It's not in the book. When I took calculus two thousands of years ago uh, my teacher asked us he said hey maybe go home and you know figure out a formula that works when you start a different number so I went home and it took me about a couple, took me a couple hours, uh, maybe an hour or two, and I figured out the formula. And then I showed it to him the next day, and he didn't really seem to respond. And I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but but I figured it out on my own. I came up with this formula on my own, so it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's not hard to come up with it, um, but yeah. How about this one? Four times um, three to the n. So in this case. Uh, again, if the question was, does it converge or diverge, which is often the question that we have, uh, your r is 3, and that means that the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1. So in this case, you would just say diverges, diverges by the GST. So if someone asked you, hey, does this converge or diverge, this would be an acceptable answer. I hope this video has been helpful. In the videos that follow, you will see tons of examples of computing the sum and more examples of, you know, does it converge or diverge. I just wanted to make this, this short introductory video mainly to show you that this is the geometric series test. This is what people mean when they say use the geometric series test. And also, this, this, this is really powerful, right? This lets you find the sum no matter where you start. Just take the number you see here, put it where the n is, it goes up top. And on the bottom, you just always divide by 1 minus r. Until next time, take care.